John, I was hearing that you have a new program. I think it's called HomeBot. Tell us a little bit yeah. about that program. How does it work and who's it for? Yeah, HomeBot is a, is a, a database management software system that we've partnered with um, that allows us to partner with, with real estate agents to just help it keep in better touch with folks. Um, but it does it in a very unique and intelligent way, providing some really some artificial intelligence type substance. We keep hearing a lot about that, that provides data to a homeowner's situation. Mm. How fast are they paying down their principal? How much interest are they paying? How much magic would happen if they were able to pay a little bit extra towards principal? Uh, and of course, what's going on with the housing market in general? Real live data is gonna be supplied to them uh, as being part of our program. So we're pretty excited about it. John, interest rates are at, as I hear it, an all-time low. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, scratch that. <laughs> interest rates, oh, as I've heard, they are, they are as high as they've been since right after 2000. Talk to us about that. Yeah, yeah, uh, 20 year highs, um, you know, roughly, you know, we don't get into quoting interest rates too much here, but you know, you can expect most folks to be locking in in the low to mid sevens under most circumstances. We're also seeing just a, a general tightening of the supply of money. You know, it's becoming a little bit more challenging to qualify for mortgage loans. And that's a natural occurrence well, when basically people who are very forward thinking expect some type of slowdown in general economic conditions. And it's, it's a byproduct of the Federal Reserve telling banks, uh, investment banks, not necessarily the bank you go to make your deposits in, but right. investment banks, they say, hey, you need to, you need to have more capital on hand uh, to support your runnings. We talked about a banking crisis six months ago, you know, to prohibit anything like that from being a contagion in the banking world, they want, they want banks to have more cash. Well, if they, if they gotta have more cash, that's less cash they can lend. Mm. Only way to lend less cash is to charge more and make mm. it a little bit more challenging to secure a loan. Mm. So that's what you're seeing happen in the market. Well, how could somebody save money off of a 30-year conventional interest rate? Well, there's, there's, you know, you can pay additional closing fees to permanently buy down the rate, what we call the discount points. Okay. There's I, temporary I, buy downs. I.e. what yep. you know, Cleve did, and you and I analyzed the numbers, yep. and it made perfectly good sense for me Absolutely. to buy that rate down just a little bit. Sure does uh, in the current marketplace. And then you got temporary buy downs where you can set some money aside to help uh, basically subsidize your monthly payment over a couple of years. Yep. Uh, there's creative adjustable rate type mortgages that we always want to explore and keep an open mind to. Is there much so of a difference? Is there much of a difference between, for example, a 30 year fixed and a 10 year arm? Because when I bought my last investment property, I think I did a 10 year arm because it made sense. Is there much of a difference today yeah. or not? Not so much. Not, not today. Okay, not, not today. today. Keep okay. an open mind to it. We explore it. But as of right now, um, we're leaning into that fixed rate environment.